What's up Jets fans, this is Green Bean and today we're going to get into a new jet that looks like we might have found a gem when I come back. All right, Jet Nation, this is Green Bean hanging out at North Perry Airport today in Pembroke Pines, South Florida. I was able to go up in the air today. You hear that plane trying to start. I was just in that very plane flying over Hard Rock Stadium. Footage to come. I'll get that over to you guys just as soon as I can. But today I want to talk about someone flying high. How do you like that? Huh? You see what I did there? A newer jet that has not been on the roster all that long, but is already making his impact known. You guys know, sometimes we have guys on the roster for four or five years and they never do anything. This guy's been here for three or four weeks and he's already undeniably exciting the fan base, exciting his teammates and coaches. You can't watch much of the game without noticing this guy and his name is Elijah Riley. What an interesting fella. Now, it's 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 wacky. You know, on the last couple games, I actually noticed him. I said more than once, who the hell's number 33? Because you can see a difference in the effort. He, he, he reminds me of how Quincy Williams is playing. You know that 100 miles an hour attitude, just balls to the wall? That's what this guy, Elijah Riley, looks like. He always seems to be around the tackle around the ball and that's not always the case with guys a lot of the time watching new york jets players we think they look sluggish they look slow they look uh, like they don't know what they're doing they look confused or lost guys like quincy williams and guys like elijah riley don't look that way and they rise right through the crop he's been here a couple weeks he's a starter by necessity this guy was on the Philadelphia Eagles practice squad just a few weeks ago, less than a month ago. That's where he was. We needed safety help so bad after all the injuries to our squad that we went to the Philadelphia Eagles practice squad, plucked him, and put him on our 53. So already, he's been here just a couple weeks, and everybody's talking about him. Now, what an interesting story this guy has about how he – Got to the NFL. This guy played for Army. They won uh, a, a game, an award or something, and they got to, I think it's, uh, I forget what the award's called, but they got to celebrate at the White House a couple years ago. And this guy, Elijah Riley, decides to take it upon himself and ask the president, President Trump at the time, goes over and asks him if players can put off their service their commitment to serving if they want to pursue a professional sporting career. So he's talking to Trump about this, just asked him. The general comes over, his head coach comes over, and they're all having a powwow. This is a good idea. Why, why don't we let these guys do this? The next year, it became official. Players are allowed to de delay or defer their service if they want to pursue uh, professional sports after, you know, uh, attending Army or West Point or what have you. So Elijah Riley literally affected the rules, the laws, if you will. And he didn't get drafted or anything like that. He was obviously on the practice squad. So that, that means he was a, he ended up being an undrafted free agent. But Joe Douglas liked him and had his eye on him. And now he's on the Jets. And guys, if you haven't noticed this kid yet, you got to take a look at him. Just keep your eye on number 33. You'll see it. You'll see it right away. He's always around the ball. His effort, he's playing a hundred hundred percent on every play and he looks like one of these guys that actually might be more grateful for the opportunity you know sometimes these guys they almost feel like they think they're supposed to be in here they're supposed to succeed that's not what he's doing he's working his ass off and you can see the excitement he's jumping all over players he's high five and he's running around smacking his teammates he's like he reminds me of that excitement that Chad Pennington had. Remember his first couple starts? He was running through, headbutting his teammates. They actually told him he had to cut it out. You got to stop headbutting us, man. It's a little bit too much. So anyway, this guy, Elijah Riley, I want to draw your attention to him. He might be, he just might be our next Victor Green. Could you imagine that? Don't forget, Victor Green was an undrafted free agent on the fringe bubble outside of the roster. He wasn't even supposed to make it. And as we all know, Victor Green not only made it, but he's one of the most beloved players on our defense from that era. 
Okay, Victor Green was a great strong safety for us. Jets fans loved him. And he was very, very effective from undrafted free agent status. So this might be another one. Let's keep our eye on Elijah Riley. Let's keep rooting for him. And maybe we won't have to spend a number one pick on a safety this year uh, in the in the upcoming draft. That all said, I hope you're having a great week. I am. I just got to fly over there. Look at that. Just got to fly around with my buddy. What a great day. I hope you're having a great day. It's beautiful down here in Florida. And as always, go Jets.